Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. This is Raina, and today we're going to be looking at set 10196, The Grand Carousel. Now this I pieced together quite a number of years ago. I printed this particular piece off on March 29th of 2016 when I had pretty much got all the pieces to verify them. As you can see, I used the rebrickable system to check them out, get my parts list. Uh, so yeah, this has been sitting in my Lego room for almost two years and I found it the other day and figured it's high time to put it together. So uh, this, I started when I was going after all the biggest Lego sets ever produced. I forget what number this was. It's obviously gone down a bit since they released a couple big ones. But it was 3,260 parts released in 2009. Now this is pretty expensive to buy and honestly it was really expensive to piece together. So, yeah, to be honest, I mean, I did get all the legit Lego bricks for this, but if I was doing it now, I honestly would just buy the Leppin set because it would have been significantly cheaper and all that. So the pieces, I, I know people don't like to hear that, but whatever. The only things I did not get are the music box and the paper things or cloth things or whatever that go around the top because they're so hard, hard to find and expensive. I guess I didn't get a sticker sheet either, but anyway. I am gonna try and use like copier paper for the top. We'll see how that looks when we get there. So anyway, I guess it's been about two years, so it's high time to put this thing together. All right, here we go. Well, friends, here it is all together. Let's take a look at it real quick. We figure out how to zoom in. There we go. You can see how the top mechanism kind of works. It just rolls along that deal, and this these go up and down to raise and lower the characters. And then it's got just the frame and everything. And it's also got these pretty cool details here. Again, I don't have the sticker sheet, so this is supposed to have a sticker, and then the I figure that white part should have a sticker on it, but I might get an aftermarket one if I ever get around to it. Uh, I really like all the colors. Let me lower you down a bit here if I can do it without making you sick. So it comes with these little horses and stuff. See, there's a gray one, white one. If you really want to get crazy, try sticking these cherries in these little brackets right here. That's awesome. All right, and if I don't know. I do have a motor in it. I guess we can run it a little bit. That's backwards, obviously. So here's another carriage. It's got this deal. And then there's a dark gray horse. So we have dark gray, light gray, and white. And let's see, there's another couple. And it's got this. So there's two light gray, two white, and two dark gray horses. This and then that umbrella one that we showed. We lower it down just a little bit more. You can see the base. And up in there. Now, as I said, I did piece this one together, and if you're wondering, these are really expensive pieces. And there's a few other. This little hat this guy is wearing was ridiculously expensive at the time. I think since they've come out with a new CMF that has that hat, or it may not be the right color, but it was a lot cheaper than this hat. But, you know, it's pretty neat. I don't think I've ever seen gold ones of these except for this, but that's probably just my sheltered view of life. So, here is your motor. There is not really an option to not motorize this one. And like I said, the only thing I don't have is the uh, brick that makes the noise. And if we zoom in here, right here, these two black bricks are where that brick is supposed to go. And you can kind of see this gray doink. Or maybe it's the two white bricks, I don't remember goes in there somewhere but that pushes it and it makes the music turn on when it's in there but that brick is 
a lot. And so is the green base plate. I just used this gray one that Lunchbox had, it, as I said below. But it has a minifigure in each one of the little carriages and the operator dude here. So it goes forward and backwards, obviously, and you just push on this little doink. So it looks like the guy's doing it, and it goes really fast. Kind of the same problem with the carousel. But I love it. It looks great. And this battery pack should be enough to motorize said carousel and I was the other one, the fairground mixer, if I ever have room to set them all up. So that'll be cool. Now, as you see, I'm also missing the white pieces. I said I was gonna make those out of the ones up here, paper, and I never got around to it. This is actually three or four weeks later than that last video. But then I realized I have this. And I looked on Bricklink, and while these pieces aren't the right shape, they are the right size. So I'm going to open this. Oh, here we go, this is a good. You see how these ones have this concave thing? The ones for this, the grand carousel have convex ones go out. So theoretically they should fit, they just probably won't cover it. So if I just cut those out and do that. So let's, let's try it. All right, so I dug them out of there and tried to stick them on and it's not really working out, which is a bummer. The, it only come with, came with six of these versus the eight that you need for the Grand Carousel. And even though they say they're the same size, like stud-wise on Bricklink, they obviously don't look like it. But you can see it looks like just horrible. So I guess I won't be trying to recreate those out of paper so they're, you know, white instead of yellow. But anyway, if you have any suggestions, if you've had to do this, let me know what you think and how you did it. I'd be very curious. Um, yeah, so leave me a comment, let me know. Uh, do you have this set? Have you ever actually seen it? Uh, yeah, next one we'll do is compare this with this new one. Lunchbox likes the new one, but I prefer the classics. Mm -hmm. Although I like the animals on the new one better. That's what I like about the new ones. But, yeah. yeah, let's save this till we get the new one put together. Anyway, appreciate you watching. Uh, keep it real. See you later.